Hi all, welcome back to another video. So let's discuss about how to handle unrealized currency gain or losses. An unrealized foreign exchange gain or losses occurs when a company measures the change of value of assets over time. If you hold assets or liabilities in some currencies, you might need to report or measure the change in the value of these amount over time due to the currency fluctuation. Take the case of a global company that purchases inventory in two locations and uses two companies, that is, American company and a European company. Both purchases equivalent of USD of $1,000 of product. So, let's see how to manage the unrealized currency gain or losses in Odoo 16 accounting module. For that, just get into the accounting module. And under configuration menu, we can see currencies. So here we have different currencies uh, with the currency symbol, name, last update, currency rate and active currency. So the default currency used by uh, my company San Francisco is USD. So yeah, uh, the, uh, default the default currency for the company is USD. And if you want to activate more currency, just click on the toggle button so that you can activate more uh, currencies under this company. And here we can see uh, the last updated rate and current rate of, I mean, uh, the, uh, yeah, the current rate of the currency. Now, if you want to update the currency uh, by default, you can do it from the configuration settings. So let me go to the configuration settings. And under configuration settings, we can see automatic currency rate, which help you to update the currency, I mean, uh, yeah, which help you to update the currency rate automatically. So the service will be providing from the uh, European Central Bank and you can set the interval that can be manual, daily, weekly or monthly. So if you're choosing it as manual, then manually you need to uh, change the currency rate. If you're setting it as daily, then Odoo will automatically uh, set the currency date daily. If it's weekly, then Odoo will automatically set the currency rate weekly if it's monthly monthly the currency rate will be updating here we can also set the next run in order to uh, do the currency uh, currency rate updation so uh, you can set that accordingly if you want after that you can save the changes now let's back to the uh, currencies itself so here you can see different currencies so let me go with the currency over here and yeah let me update the currency so let me update the currency as of uh, today with the amount and letting it to be three and let me also create another one with uh, a previous date So you can set the previous date and can change the uh, unit value of the currency. So you can see uh, the value over here. Uh -huh. Now we have changed the currency value. Uh, so we have given two dates uh, and you can see the updated rate and uh, uh, yeah, we have given updated rate for the dirham. After that, you can save the changes. Now let's go to the customers and under invoices, we can create an invoice. And you can click on uh, new in order to generate a new invoice by choosing the customer. So let me choose a new customer. So we can create it from here and you can save the customer after that uh, here we need to change the currency as dirham that is aad and you can set a previous date so let me set the date as uh, first uh, of yeah first of this uh, month and you can choose a product which is customizable desk so as you choose the uh, product, you can see uh, currently 
the product prices shown in dirham and you can also change that to USD so now if it's in USD you can see the change over here the product price will be available in USD so we can see the difference over here and let me set it as AED itself Now, if you want to keep the uh, tax, you can do so or just neglect that tax. And you can see the amount over here. After that, you can just save and confirm the invoice. So currently, we have posted the invoice. Under reporting, we have uh, unrealized currency gain or losses. So when you back to the unrealized currency gain or losses here, you can see uh, the currency with its balance rate in the uh, foreign and balance at the operation rate which means that we have already said that the default currency that is used by my company san francisco is usd so the price of the product will be shown here uh, with the price in usd and we can see the exchange rate so we have exchange rate uh, with the dirham so that rate is uh, shown here and we can also see the balance at current rate so this will be uh, the difference with the balance at the current rate and uh, the adjustment that have made will be shown here. And you can also use uh, filtration as of today's date with the last month, with the last quarter, with the last financial year or you can customize the date according um, to your need uh, for further filtration purposes. And you can also make comparison like with previous period or with same period or you can custom the period. And you can also uh, do the exchange rate. So currently we have these all uh, currencies available under this country. So uh, as uh, the default currency for uh, the company, my company San Francisco is USD, we can see the exchange is from USD to the other currency. So uh, that's why it's uh, shown as here. And we can see all the exchange uh, rates uh, here. And yeah. Let me get into the uh, invoice. So when you get into the invoice, you can view uh, the journal entry. Now uh, we can see uh, we have given a previous date. Uh, so the amount or the price is given accordingly. Now you can make the payment. So the payment will be uh, making on today's date. So we are performing uh, the payment on today's date and you can see that. Now just click on create payment. So currently this is in, in payment state. Now you can see uh, the difference is already shown here. That is uh, the exchange rate uh, in the foreign currency as well as in the operation rate. So from this we can analyze the uh, uh, unrealized uh, gain or losses. So this is used in a company like uh, some companies uh, will be handling with multi currencies. So in such cases, we need to check uh, the currency gains and losses. So in uh, such cases, the company will uh, check the unrealized, I mean, will check for the gains or losses of the exchange rate of the currency. So this is how Odo manage uh, the unrealized currency gain or losses. So hope this concept is clear for you. Um, and thank you for watching the video.